Let us look at example 1 of our lecture. In this question, the eye is most sensitive to light of wavelength 550 nanometers. You are asked to find the energy of the photon and that's associated with this wavelength, lambda. Let's put it lambda. And then you're asked to express your answer in electron volts. Let us do the first part and let us try and find the energy of the photon first. We know that the energy of a photon is given by HF. But in this example, you are given the energy, um, you are given the not the frequency, but the wavelength. So we need to express our frequency in terms of wavelength. And in our study of waves, we know that frequency can be expressed as speed over wavelength. And since this is light, we know that the speed is actually 3 times 10 to the power of 8 over the wavelength. So this will give us our answer and all we have to do now is to substitute the values inside. So this is Planck's constant and then speed of light from your list of constants. We know that it's 3 times 10 to the power of 8 and in the question the wavelength is 550 nanometers. We need to convert that into meters. So 1 nanometer is times 10 to the power of minus 9 meters. So what we have, when you put it into your calculator, you will find that this is 3.616 times 10 to the power of minus 19 joules. But we are not done yet because in your question, you're asked to express it in electrons volts. So we need to know what's the relationship between electron volts and joules. So if you refer to your lecture notes earlier on, you will find that electron volt is actually another unit for joules, or another unit for energy, sorry. Basically, because when we look at energy at atomic scale, the magnitude of the energy involved is actually very, very small. So when we draw upon our definition of what is potential difference, you will find that one electron volt is equivalent to sending an electron through a potential difference of one volts. So an electron has a charge of 1.6 times 10 to the power minus 19 coulombs. When you send it through a potential difference of one volt, it will gain an equivalent of energy of 1.6 times 10 to the power minus 19 joules and that is our conversion factor. So once we have that, we can move back to our original question and we can now convert this into electron volts and we have 3.616 times 10 to the power minus 19 joules and we can divide it by 1.6 times 10 to the power minus 19 to convert it into electron volts. You put it through your calculator and you get 2.26 electron volts. And that is the answer.